Hey, 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 what's up? Welcome back to another episode of KXDC Podcast with your host, KXDC slash Kelvin. That's me. If you don't know who I was, well, now you know. It's a pleasure to allow myself to let you know me. Now, I would like to let me know you. Oh, be an honor for me. You see, I've been listening to a lot of feedbacks and comments about the podcast and about the listeners, how we could improve. And I'm really taking every little detail into consideration. Now, there's been a lot of people that told me, hey, you should really start doing more videos and then transferring those into audios as well. And that would be, you know, a little better if you have both grounds. You're standing on both grounds, which I've been trying to do for a long time. You see, I just didn't have the structure of the whole thing, which throughout this year, I've been finding out new things, learning new things, going to emotional breakdowns, um, losing people, gaining people. Saying goodbye to people for my own health, <clears throat> you know, letting new people into my life because of the same reason, you know, for better health. Started to get to know better people and people that would actually help me in some way, whether it be emotional, physical, you know, to help me train a lot more, mentally, you know, any way possible. But find somebody that would not just mess up your life you know always with a drama always always something we all know how annoying that is we all know how bad it feels when we get that 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 reaction from people and we know for sure how bad people feel when they get that reaction from us you know because it's both ways whatever it bothers you from someone else Check yourself if you're doing it to someone else because it's most likely like you are and you're not even aware of the facts. You know, that's why we, 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 I, I suggest people to stay focused into what they're doing, you know, be aware on their cycle of the year, you know, because if you have, if you didn't know, we all have a, a repeated cycle every year. You know, and the only way that we could change it or that we could arrange something or that we could overcome it is by facing it by understanding how we work you know i found out a couple of years ago about the cycle i was like but wait last year about this time i was feeling the same way i had no idea what was going on but i have not done the same thing since last year at all you know like i've met a lot of people all these things and that's what i started noticing just like i told you on the last episode remember how i started Waking up to the fact that I was living in my mind, it was because I was willing to help other people, even with the pain that I had and everything. I was willing to help other people get out of their heads because what they were telling me made no sense in reality. So that's when I was, what? Wait, but if if this is happening, what about me? And then I started analyzing myself. I was like, whoa, I'm living in my head too. So I'm like, and that's when I found out that I was falling in love with myself, that I was suffering because of me, that I was feeling lonely because of me, that I was creating all of that into me without me even realizing it. You know, this was me, what, 14, 13, almost 15 or something like that, you know, and I thank God for every situation that I've been through, every, especially every bad one, you know. Sometimes I feel like giving up. We all do. Sometimes I feel like giving up and I start thinking about that. I start just thinking about all the bullshit I've been through, all the bad thing I've been through that taught me so many things, you know, and that gives me strength, that just keeps me going, gives me, okay, if I was able to go through that, that is like not even 3% of what I'm going through, but in pain, it's like a thousand percent, but in reality of what it is, the fact of what it is, it's not even 2% of what I've been through, so what am I complaining about? But you know, we sometimes just focus on the emotional part. The emotional part stops us from accomplishing the things that we got to do, you know. Sometimes you got to be careful of what you pay attention to. If you pay attention to your emotions, if you pay attention to your mind, if you pay attention to to whatever, 
it is, you know, to a pain in your leg, to any situation, you know, you got to take a, take into consideration every single detail. But it's not that you got to be taking consideration of every single detail of every single moment of your life. No, it's that at the moment, at the moment where you are right now, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's going on right there? What are you doing? Exactly. What is your purpose or what you're doing? Is it something positive, negative, what's going on, you know? So, keep that in mind, you know? If you're going through a bad situation right now, I'm telling you, you are not alone. And I found that out yesterday so, so deeply, you know. Uh, I knew it, but I saw it yesterday. Because God always sends you the answer, you know. God's always, uh, how do you call it, the universe, God, whatever. That is not. Respect it. I respect your idea. And I respect your idea of it. You know, so I don't judge you. Now, yesterday, I was <clears throat> expressing myself to a friend, which I really don't not do a lot, because people know me for my um, lack of self-expression self of my emotions, you know, I'm, I'm working on that, a lot of people, not a lot of people, some people already know that, you know, I'm very emotional, very sensitive, very everything, you know, but not everybody knows that, not everybody deserves to know everything about you, you know everything like that so there's special people that are really willing to know you and help you and be with you and everything then other than that like but what i admire more about me you know is that even though if i'm going through any type of situation i look at it in the fact of helping other people with it you know that's that's just my way of being you know it's just how it is. I'm always thinking of how, like, how, okay, how can I get out of this? And in my process of getting out of this, how can I help somebody else, whether in the beginning, in the middle, or in the end? You know, I'm always thinking about that. So I will always have an idea for an episode. I just don't do every idea that pops in my head, which I should, because they're all awesome. It's just, I still have a lot of things, like, you know, um, um, how do you call it, complejos, you know, like, you, you feel like it's not going to be enough, like, people are going to say this, this, that, this, this, that, and all you know, your mind starts telling you a whole bunch of things that I end up not doing in that day, the episode I wanted to do, you know, but that's all changing, little by little, I'm here I am, I'm going to train South Beach in a moment, my friend is calling me right now, we're all going in it, let's get it, and don't forget about this. You know, don't forget about it. I love you. And don't feel bad. Get up. Feel strong. Pray. Meditate. Do what you got to do. Find solutions, you know. See this monkey back here? This colorful monkey back here? I love this picture. I love this picture. It just tells me so much things as I look at it. it makes me feel like I already know the answer. Like, the answer is right there and I just have to look for it, you know. And, and I just have to look at it, find it, analyze it, and what's up, you know. It's just like, it was there all along, you know, it helps me. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I love you. Peace. Much love. Share, comment, subscribe, give a feedback, anything. Much appreciated. And much love. Thank you for listening to KXDC, where greatness feels at home. Peace.